The following operator training video on the Hobart AM Select dishwasher is a supplement to the instruction manual that came with your AM Select dishwasher. If you have any questions concerning operation, please consult your manual. The AM Select series of dishwashers, the AM15, AM15F, and AM15T, are designed to operate in one of two modes. Hot water sanitizing mode, designated by the letters AH or AP on the display when the machine is turned on, or a chemical sanitizing mode, designated by the letters AC on the display when the machine is turned on. The serial number can be found on the machine data plate located on the bottom of the front panel. Once the unit is turned on, the AM will fill the wash tank to the appropriate level and automatically stop filling once the level is reached. A float located in the wash tank will shut off the heat supply if the water level becomes too low. When the water returns to a proper level, the heating circuit is again operational. A frame-mounted electric booster water heater is available as an option on machines equipped with electric tank heat. The booster water heater is designed to maintain a minimum final rinse temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit, provided the incoming water to the booster heater is at least 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The overflow tube must be in its proper location below the strainer pan. Place the strainer pan and the strainer bucket in their proper positions. An automatic detergent dispenser is recommended. Closely follow supplier's instructions. Close the door. This will automatically close the drain. Open the manual gas valve if applicable. Press the on button to turn the power on. If the machine's door is closed, and no water is in the tank, the fill cycle will begin automatically. During the fill cycle, the word fill is displayed. When the fill cycle has completed, the readout will display the wash temperature. During the rinse cycle, the rinse icon and temperature will be displayed. Select the wash cycle. One for normal serving wear, two, four, or six for pots and pans. Each wash cycle is followed by an automatic rinse. When the rinse cycle is complete, the door can be opened. Scrape the dishes to remove large particles of food and debris. Never use steel wool on where to be loaded into the dish machine. Arrange the dishes in the rack. Do not stack dishes on top of one another, as water must have free access to all sides of every dish. Stand plates and dishes up edgewise in a peg-type rack. Cups, glasses, and bowls should be inverted in an open-type or compartment-type rack. Silverware and other small pieces may be scattered loosely over the bottom of a flat-bottom rack. Do not allow foreign objects to enter the unit, especially metallic contaminants. After filling a rack, open the door, slide the rack into the dishwasher, and close the door. Cycle starts when the door is closed. Throughout the wash cycle, the tank water temperature will be displayed on the front panel display along with the word wash and an icon. During the rinse cycle, the rinse water temperature will be displayed along with the word rinse and an icon. When the rinse cycle is completed, the readout will display the tank water temperature. When the cycle is finished and the rinse icon disappears, open the door remove the clean dishes, slide in another rack, and close the door. To add a dish after the wash cycle has started, open the door slightly, wait 10 seconds to allow the wash arm to coast down, and avoid water splashing before opening the door fully. Operating temperature for all models can be found on the operating label on the front of the machine. Model AM15F has a front loader door and loading tray. The machine can operate with the loader tray positioned vertically inside the chamber, up position, or positioned horizontally outside the chamber, down position. The machine must be thoroughly cleaned at the end of each working shift or at least daily. Never use steel wool to clean wear washer surfaces. Use only products formulated to be safe on stainless steel. 
First, push the off button. Now open the machine door. Clean off the dish tables into the dishwasher. Drain the machine by lifting up the drain lever. Thoroughly cleanse and flush the dishwash interior. Remove any remaining soil with a soft cloth or brush and mild cleanser. Rinse again. Remove and empty the strainer pan and the strainer bucket. Wash and rinse them thoroughly. Do not bang to clean. Clean the pump cover with a soft cloth or brush. Do not allow food soil, utensils, straws, or other items to accumulate on the tank bottom. Remove the overflow tube. Wash and rinse the overflow tube inside and out. Make sure that the wash and rinse arms rotate freely and continue to turn for a few seconds after being whirled by hand and are free of any obstructions. If not, remove the arms and clear out any obstructions. The wash arms are easily removed for cleaning. To remove the lower wash arm, unscrew the hand knob and lift the rinse arm off. The wash arm can be lifted off once the rinse arm is removed. The upper wash and rinse arms are removed by unscrewing the hand knob and lowering both arms together. Be careful not to drop these arms. Note, do not bang wash arms or rinse arms to clean. Replace all removed parts put wash arms on securely, leave the machine door open to allow the interior to air out and dry. Note, if either the strainer pan or the strainer bucket is not properly in place, obstructions such as food particles or bones may clog the wash arm nozzle. If the optional D-Lime notification is activated and the D-Lime light is on, Follow these instructions. Deliming is also necessary if deposits are visible inside or outside the machine. First, remove the rack, drain the tank, and press off. Press and hold cycle and on for three seconds. Close the door, the unit will fill, then indicate add D-line. Open the door and add a D-line agent per the supplier's instructions for a 14-gallon tank. Now close the door. The pump starts and the display flashes D-line. After 12 minutes, the display scrolls drain. Check the interior and close the door to run additional cycles if necessary. Finally, drain the tank and turn the unit off. Do pre-scrap dishes thoroughly. Do use only detergents recommended by your chemical professional. Do, at the end of the day, thoroughly cleanse the machine, rinse and dry, leave the door open. Do de-lime machine on a regular schedule. Do use only products formulated to be safe on stainless steel. Do not use detergents formulated for residential dishwashers. Do not allow food soil, utensils, straws, or other items to accumulate on the tank bottom. Do not exceed chemical manufacturer's recommended concentrations for detergent, sanitizer, rinse aid, or lime scale remover. Do not use steel wool to clean wear or wear washer surfaces. Do not allow foreign objects to enter the unit, especially metallic contaminants such as paper clips, retainers, etc. Note, failure to follow use, care, and maintenance instructions may void your Hobart wear washer warranty. With proper operation, cleaning, and maintenance, your Hobart AM Select will provide many years of reliable operation. This concludes operator training for the Hobart AM Select dishwasher. To obtain service and parts information concerning this product, contact your local Hobart service office.